Let's assess the following argument and see if it's valid. If my computer crashes, I'll lose all my photos. I haven't lost all my photos, therefore my computer hasn't crashed. Notice again, we break this argument down into premises and conclusion and write both in symbolic form. So the premises are everything before therefore, which consists of the first two sentences. If my computer crashes, I'll lose all my photos. So let's call the first piece P and I'll lose all my photos, we'll call that Q. Therefore the first premise is if P then Q, P implies Q. The second premise is I haven't lost all my photos, which is not Q. And the conclusion is therefore my computer hasn't crashed or not P. So the argument looks like the one shown here P implies Q and not Q, therefore not P. The truth table is already filled out for us, so we don't have to spend the time building it. But notice what we see here with this last column, the one for the full argument, is a tautology. So this argument is valid. And this is an example of what's called contrapositive reasoning, which is valid to say that if P implies Q and Q hasn't happened, then P must not have happened, right? Because if my computer crashes, I'll lose all my photos. I haven't lost all my photos. If my computer had crashed, I would have. So the fact that I haven't proves that my computer hasn't crashed. So this is a valid form of reasoning known as contrapositive reasoning because it uses the contrapositive.